getting the truck ready for <clears throat> it's going to be really cold tonight blankets. we're going to insulate the floor with these moving blankets we got from the tool store what was that called harbor freight, harbor freight. there you go Well, that won't hurt neither, I guess. But it'll be a lot softer once you get them blankets down. <clears throat> the last time I had that um, gardening thing underneath here first, but it'll be Now these moving blankets kind of stick to the bed liner, which is really cool because that way when you toss and turn, oh, they don't like roll Mandra. around. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Velcro. It's kind of cool. And if you're concerned, it's a Nissan Frontier 2018. 261 horsepower. <laughs> 283 pounds of torque four-wheel drive we're going to sneak into a farm in West Virginia <laughs> and hide in a barn <laughs> okay. once you get this done I'll get back with you Okay, step one, I put the moving blankets down on the bed of the truck. That's our step one. And what I like about this moving blanket, it's almost like putting up Velcro, because you put it up and it like sticks to the truck like Velcro. So that's step one. All right. So the next step we're gonna have, we're gonna put in our Hike True double sleeping pad. And this is one that you have to pump up with your foot. So we're going to put that in next. This is like our fourth or fifth time using this thing. Yeah, put the <clears throat> put palm up on this side. This is a double one. I love this one. This one really does work nice. I think it stays keeps us pretty warm too. But this is not This is one you have to open this up and you push it with your foot and then it inflates it up. Make sure that end's already shut before we even put it all the way up there. We want to make sure that's shut. That's how you open it to let the air out, but you want to make sure it's shut so while I'm pumping it, it's not going to do it. All right, I'm going to get this pumped up and I'll show you in a minute. how that works. You want to take the, th and I'll straighten it up up here. There we go, it'll straighten up in this area. Alright. I need to turn that off till we get it going. Step down on it, put your foot up. But you do this a couple times until it's completely aired up. It takes about 85 times. Well, 85 times then. That's what it said in the book. Okay. <laughs> you just step on it. Got to let it come all the way up so it gets enough air in it to push it back out. Yeah. You just pick that up and step on it. As you can see, it's starting to inflate. Done. There. I think 
that's good. Yeah, it seems to be good. So I'm going to shut that now. You want to do that with your fingers. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that with my fingers. So that blows up pretty strong. And we can fit this in here. I do have to put a little bit up at the top to fold it up over the tailgate. Get it between the... Yeah, I gotta get it between the wheel 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 rest. Shoo! Somebody made it stink over here. Huh? <clears throat> Nothing. You got me a stinker. Right. I guess the truck backfired. I don't know. Just a little bit, but that's where I put my towels to keep the sheet. I'll we'll push it in later. Push it in and I'll go get some towels in if that's what you want to do. Yeah, Hang but on, pause, stop. Yeah, you are. Right. We put some pillows between the rail because that's metal rail and she don't want it to scratch up her sleeping pad. Yeah. Now she's going to complain about the sheet because I didn't get her a fitted one. I got her one of the old ones that are already falling apart and we throwed the fitted one away to that one because it had too right. many holes in it. So we put the sheet on next. <laughs> And I need another one. Yep. All right. Be back in a minute. I had to use two sheets because to make it long enough. <clears throat> if you watch our videos long enough, you'll find us opening. The, the box that came with this sheet or this bed thing I mean this sleeping pad there you go I knew I'd think of it why don't you tuck the bottom in first that way you dig on got enough to cover the whole thing and it ain't got to be too fancy because we're putting the SOL blanket over that Oh, I see you're trying to, still trying to cover it from the rubbing the tab. So the next thing I did was put a sheet on my air mattress. So I got a sheet on my air mattress. Starting to fill in pretty good. We're going to put a uh, electric blanket, not electric blanket, but a emergency Milo blanket next because that will help with the heat. So he's got... Middle down and cover our yeah. So we're going to use a Marlow blanket next to put down, and we're only going to put it where our core is. We won't need it really at our head, but that will help us keep the heat in. This Marlow blanket, and it is going to be long enough for the whole entire bed. No, it's not. See? It's about a foot short on this end. <laughs> Layer. You gotta tuck it in a little bit or I it won't will. stay there. You know, I'm thinking if we had a fitted sheet now, that would hold that all right in place. You're thinking? I'm thinking. So the next step is I put this Milo blanket down, but I think if we put a fitted sheet around it, it would keep I it I think all we're going to put a sleeping bag around it. Yeah, but then it would hold it in place. Plus, it gives us an extra cubby. Get so, out your knees out from under that thing. Well, I'll get out whenever I, once I get done, but I want to get on it. So, okay, cut. Okay, so next I put a fitted sheet over the corner so it will fit nicely. But we have the a regular sheet, our air mattress. Then let me just show you here a second. 
So we have a sheet on it now, and as you can see, I got my regular blanket, you got Milo on and then I have a Milo under it. So that's good, and it's in with a fitted sheet to help the corner stay together and keep the Milo blanket in place. Next, we're gonna put a sleeping bag. Bag. We've got our sleeping bag here. This is the 50 degree sleeping bag. 50 degree sleeping bag. So we're going to layer them and make a chain. So, pull that one out. Put it on like a blanket. You gonna zip them together or no? Yeah. Put it on like a blanket over the whole thing. Alright. Keeping the, this, the other side supposed to be the wet side down. <laughs> this is just our field and stream sleeping bag. It's a field and stream. And he said it was, what was the temperature for below? 50, 50 below. No, not below. 50, 50 above. above. 50 above. All right, let me get that on. Wait till I start the darn thing. Okay, go ahead. All right, so, so far we got our moving blankets, a sheet, we have our air mattress, a Milo blanket, a regular fitted sheet, and then one of our sleeping bags on top. So this is our Forgive base. her West Virginia accent, she can't say Mylar. <laughs> We're having we are going. This is our base so far. So this is what we're going yeah, to everything base. else is going to be on top of us. Yeah. All right. So we're going to bring you back with the rest of the stuff. Start over. Go on ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and set these two sleeping bags together. So we have these sleeping bags, and then we have our 32 degree set. Our 32 degree. <coughs> Bag. Which we're going to stuff the 50 degree sleeping bag inside of and make everything cool, great, yeah. warm. <clears throat> We've never actually used this setup before. Last time we just wore snowmobile suits. <laughs> this here is my favorite sleeping bag. I like this sleeping bag. It actually has two little pillows with it. Got two little pillows. I love it. Two little camping pillows put that in there but this sleeping bag like I said is my favorite sleeping bag I love it's a uh, warmer I mean what's the temperature for this one 50 32 degrees 32. freezing and it is we have really done good but I'm gonna zip this up first and then I'm gonna stuff the other sleeping bag right inside we'll get back to you okay so what I've done is I've taken my inside sleeping bag we stuffed it all the way into this top sleeping bag. So now we have like a double sleeping bag liner. And uh, this one actually closes up really good. This is, like I said, my favorite one up here. But the sleeping bag is all the way in the bottom. Now we straightened it out. So that's where we're at so far. We're going to bring out what our Wooby next. I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> all right, but this is what we got so far. So this is, we got a double sleeping bag and we straightened it out so it goes all the way down. Get in it, you'll have two sleeping bags on this. This is what it looks like so far. This is what it looks like so far. We got some pillows, our sleeping bags, our padding on, so it's getting there. All right, this is the bed so far. I got my extra wooby in there, and I got him a wooby just in case because I love my woobies, and it could be 90 degrees outside, I still need a wooby. But anyway, there's the extra woobies. We got a sleeping bag here. This is a 50 below sleeping bag. 50 degrees sleeping bag. This is my son Sean's sleeping bag. We have a uh, air mattress. This is a sleeping pad. And this is a self-inflating sleeping pad. He'll have that. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite sleeping pad. And then we also have the trip hunter gear sleeping pad it's a self inflating sleeping pad 
This one is actually a blow up sleeping pad. This is a high hiker. And this one you actually have to blow up. But I love these two. And my husband does sleep on this one a lot. But we're taking these. We got our hiking poles. We might go on a hike. These extend out. It's also got a compass on the end. It's got a flashlight. And uh, they're pretty nice walking sticks and they you can make them as tall or short as you want but we're gonna take take those okay some other things we're taking is I always like to take this is just a I guess it was considered a beach mat or something but I like to put this outside when I got my tents I put it outside my tents when we first get in and out I put them underneath my hammocks when we put out the hammocks but it's also good when you get out of the truck to have a place that you can step out on and be clean so we're going to take that looks like we got some towels some towels and washcloths we're going to take propane for the heater our propane for the heater and we are going to take our little buddy the mr heater this is the mr heater and it works off the propane we're going to take it and have it if we need it. We're all packed up. We're ready to get this thing ready to go. And all we got to do is get our clothes and be ready to roll. And drugs. And drugs. <laughs> okay, well, we're not going to sleep in a barn tonight. We're actually going to sleep in underneath the jungle Van Hoy gym. Farm. Okay, so we got our truck all loaded up and ready to roll. We're actually staying in this little uh, campground, this little play area, but it's got like a shelter roof here. So we're going to stay underneath there. We're going to pull back in there and sleep in here. It's kind of cold, windy right now. But we're going to get some things set up and see what happens. Here we go. Mom was going to boil some water. Go ahead. All right. I'm, I picked up one of these uh, canteen cook systems. And so I'm going to try it out today. I added an extra spoon because I'm going to have to stir my hot chocolate. So this is just what I added. But it comes in a little pouch. It's got like a, a thing. I got my hot chocolate in here that I'm going to do. I actually have an extra cup in here too. But it's got like a side pocket here that I can put stuff in. Nice little side pocket. It's got a nice little side pocket on this side that I could put some stuff in if I wanted to. So. It, it's got on the back side it's got just where you could hook it onto something if you want but I just picked this up it's got the canteen in it so inside the canteen I've got water it came with you take this out like I said it's a nice little pouch I like it so there's my little pouch, but it didn't come with this cup. I This is an extra cup I got. So it comes with this cup. It comes with the stand. Let me put it in order here. And it comes with like the little lid that you can cook, you can boil stuff in. And it comes with your canteen. So... What I'm going to do, the way this is, is they actually have it where you could set this up. And I guess you could put like an Epsi, uh, some Epsi. Um, solid fuel tabs. Uh, solid fuel tabs under there or some, maybe even some gel. But you put it on that and then you could put your stove right on top and cook right off of that. I'm going to use this block here. And we got to pick it up. block 
here. But the way this is, it looks like you could put your stand, your stove there, your food in here, and it's got the butterfly handles. You put your food in there, and you would be able to boil it right off the stove like that. So, we're going to try this. I got my water in here and my canteen. We're going to pour that right in there. Whoops. I didn't have it set up straight, so we got some water mistake. So I have to take two, try that again. Alright. I guess you lock this in. You put the stove on top. I didn't have them locked in. Then you put your water in, and then you can bring it to a boil. I'm not seeing any lines in my cup as far as saying like one cup or two cups. I'm not seeing any in this one. And in my older one, no, there's no markings as far as how much is one cup or two cups or whatever. But we're gonna actually boil that water and bring it to a boil. So I'm gonna have to get out my Epsi stove. This is actually at an Epsi stove, or this came in my uh, Survivor Kit Wise Kit, and that's why the stoves you just open it up comes with the tablets but uh, we had done this in another demonstration we had put the Epsi tablets right there and then we actually put a thing of uh, beans right on top and cooked it but we had it upside down but you could cook it either way so apparently you're supposed to put it down like that put your Epsi tabs in and then use these on top but see there's no way for me I'd have to use a bigger pot you tilt them in I guess you would tilt them in as far as you would need them and stick them on top and cook off like that but I think it'd be just as safe or just as easy to turn the stove over but I had some comments that that was upside down that we was cooking it upside down but to me, I think it's more supportive if I cook it this way. Seems like it holds the pot a whole lot better. So, we're going to light this bad boy up. I thought she was going to light the other one up. So, actually, yeah, I'm actually, because I used that one, I'm actually going to put it in here and light it in here. But I want to make sure this is not going to spill. So, there's my thing. That holds it like that. Yeah, I just didn't have it locked in. Alright, so I'm only going to use one of these Epsi tabs. They come in little pal packets. And you separate them. Did you at least bring the rest of them? We had on like 30 of them things. I brought exactly what I needed, two. <laughs> We're going to do one. <coughs> Take that, put that there, and light it up. But I really don't want to mess up my new stove, but I'm going to do it anyway. You want this thing, or you want to use your lighter? I'll use yours. Now, someone said, like, whenever you first open these up, they have a smell to them. And, yes, as soon as I opened it up, there is a smell to them. <laughs> so... That definitely smells weird. A weird smell. I wonder if I can use this and put that on top of there. Turn it around. Turn it around and put this on top. I think that's what I'm going to do. And stick it under here and burn it. Well, if you do that, you're not going to get the heat to your water on your cup. All right. Let me dry this out a little bit since I spilled it. 
Well, if you ain't gonna use that, it's okay. I don't care. I thought you was. That's all. All right, so that's locked in place. That is set level now. Yep. Locked in place. I'm gonna put my tablet. You take it out of the pouch. You drop it in there. Light it up. You may want to light it up, then drop it in there. Flame. Can you see the flame? Good a minute ago, but I don't think I can. Here, now. let me have the. Ready? This is my homemade windshield that I made. It's like a oven. I can use it as an oven as well. Yeah, that'll help. Alright, I put my windshield around it so that it keeps and keeps the wind. You can see the flame is still going strong. I'm gonna see if the water's boiling yet. Ooh, that is hot now. Multi-tool. Yeah, multi-tool. Can't reach it from there. I got to turn over. All right, so we're going to use my multi-tool because that is hot. You can see a little bit of the bubble water on the bottom. It's not at a full boil yet, but it is getting hot. You can see the tab burning. That wind is really strong, so I'm glad we got that windshield around it. I had made this. I had made this out of cardboard and um, foil, and it rolls up. And when I roll it up, I put it in this container. This is just a Pringles can. And I put it in there and store it. That's how I bring it to camp and back. It's got on the top where if you want to pour it out, you can. All right, we'll get back to you, see how it is. Okay, on my thing, I can see steam coming out of these little holes. I'm trying to get it where you can see the steam. I don't know, let me see. Are we seeing steam coming out? See the steam? Showing up on camera, I can see it there a little bit. Let's check it. There we go. See, it is definitely got some steam. Yeah, 
My tablet is still going. You see, still flaming. I think it'd be hot enough to drink. <clears throat> Let's get a good look at it. I got the steam coming up. It's hot water. It's not boiling water, but it's hot water. You see the steam? Still got some flame going on that cube yet. Okay, my one fuel tablet is burnt out. So let's look at the thing. It definitely, you can see the steam. It got hot. It's enough to make coffee with. So we're going to do our coffee. And I thought it was cocoa. Cocoa and see what's <laughs> see how it is. Okay, so one good thing I just took my pot off, made my hot chocolate. Let me get a picture of your hot cocoa. There's his hot cocoa. So he's got his. And this is what's left of the stand. But what I noticed is once it's burnt out, it's not hot at all. It's not even hot. I can pick that thing up and it's hot. Not hot. But uh, it did leave a, a burn mark in my stove thing. But that's part of using the camp stove. You get burnt marks. And on the bottom of my pan, of course, it, it's going to tilt it a little bit. Got my hand on stuff. But that's part of camping. All right, so now the next Etsy one, we're going to use this stove. We're going to use this stove right here. So should i i'm going to cook it just like this again even though this is upside down we like cooking it on that side versus this side because this side my thing won't fit on there so it won't fit on there so we actually even though you're supposed to cook this you way <laughs> yeah you can actually put sticks under there if you want but because i like sitting it this way because then my pan sits right on top and that's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to do the Epsi again, and we're going to see how yeah, this one boils. If this one gets hotter than the other one did. Yeah, we're going to see if that gets hotter. Okay, so this time we're going to try this stove. I got the cube right there. And we choose to put it this way versus the other way because we think my pan fits on it better. So I'm going to put my pan on there. And as you can see, Yeah, as you can see, I got about as much water as it as I did before. So I gotta take my pan off, get out my torch here, light it. So I'm gonna light this bad boy. <coughs> Thing of it is, you don't know exactly. I see him turning brown. You see the flame? Put your hand there. You feel the flame. Now try again. Yeah, I believe it's lit. Now I'm going to put my pan on it. Now I see a flame. So now I got it lit. Finally. And there's the flame. So I'm gonna sit my pan. Sit my pan right on top. Check down here, still got a flame. Put your windscreen up. 
I'm going to put my windscreen back up again. I'm going to put my windscreen back up again. I got it's still burning. I can see the flame. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to see how long it takes for this one to boil. Time check. Four, five, four, 49 seconds. Okay. Okay, you can still see the flame is still going. You can see the flame under there. And it's still going. <coughs> and I do have it around my windshield because it is pretty windy here. But we're going to see... You can see the water is starting to come to a little bit of a boil bubbles. You can see the steam. You see the steam come up. So it's getting hot. So <clears throat> we're going to see it. once that Epsi cube is gone. Epi Eps once that cube is gone that's uh, all the hotter water I'll get because I, I did one cube on the other one and then one cube on this one so you can see it's got flame coming up over here this too but it's been really really windy here It seems to be burning higher flames anyway, but is that because my pants lower? Mm. <coughs> Alright, so let's check the cube here. Let me see how much cube I got left. Oh, okay. My cube has disappeared down and the last little bit fell through. There's the hole in the grate there. So the last little bit fell on the brick right here. And that's all that's left of that cube. So with that one cube, it's all went through my grate there because I had holes in my grate. And it went through the hole there. And so we will see. It's steaming. I got steam and tiny bubbles. So it's going to be hot enough to drink. for my hot chocolate. So I'll, I'll pour my hot chocolate in. steaming coming out you can see kind of tiny bubbles I'm going to put my hot chocolate in with my marshmallows get that last marshmallow on there two more okay give it a stir And one thing is the handles are not hot. I can pick that up. The handles are not hot. There's my hot chocolate. The stand is gone. The cube is gone. And that little bit fell down below. But that's it. Alright. Shut this off. One thing I like about these stoves is I get gun get done cooking. I can fold them up. They're not hot. They're ready to pack away. I can store them right into the container and pack it all up and I'm ready to go. Easy peasy. Get my windshield. Roll it back up. This is just cardboard that I had wrapped in foil. I roll it back up. It fits right in my 
This is a Pringles can. Fits right back in there. Put the lid on it. Stack, it, it packs really nice. So. Okay, we're about ready to make some supper. And this is called what, dear? The mini Lavarda stove. The mini Lavarda stove. Here is a stick stove. So. My sticks must be wet. I'm having a fit. <laughs> we're going to get some water going. We're going to boil some water on the stove. And get it going for dinner. Alright, we got a fire going. We're going to cook dinner. We're going to let that burn a little bit down. And then we're going to put some two cups of water. And then we're going to make, for supper, we're going to do the Mountain House Chicken and Dumplings. So, that's what we're doing for dinner. There we are with the fire. And there we are watching the fire. <laughs> Alright, say it again. This is the baby Lasada stick stove, and she's getting the water hot. She's done better than the alcohol stoves and stuff did, I think. At least it's a whole lot prettier. Oh. <laughs> it's the bubbles aren't quite there yet. Only thing I got is the dead on table works and fell out of it already. This is only like the third time I've lit this thing. No, the fifth time I've lit this. <laughs> is it's the mini fire one that's what it looks like on that side okay so there's our stove going and you can tell it's definitely whoops it's definitely boiling it's at a rapid boil that's what we're looking for so that's what we need so now here's the glove <laughs> Alright, we're going to do the chicken and dumplings with some vegetables. We take this off and tear it off. There's supposed to be like a, there it is, the absorber thing. You take this out. Put that in the fire. No, you throw it away. And this is what it looks like. And then we're going to add the water. I'm going to this right up here. It's got like a little bit of a pouch, like a set place where you can sit it down. I'm going to take this water, use my glove here. The water is definitely was boiling. Fire's starting to dry down a little. So it's definitely boiling water. It was a rapid boil. And I'm going to. Sorry, you got sidetracked. Put that in there. Would you say that's about a cup and a half? It's about a cup and a half. Then we seal it back up again, and it does have a ziplock where you can ziplock it and shake it up. So, okay. so it circulates and mixes up good. Let me make sure I got it zipped up. I don't want to be dumping it out on me. So then shake it up and we'll let it sit for 10 minutes and then we'll give it a stir. So, but I didn't know it had the Ziploc, but it does have the Ziploc right there on it. So we're going to get back with you on that. 10 minutes will be... It's 7-Eleven now. 721, 712, 22. And oof. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. It really does smell really good. Okay, I give it a little bit of a stir. But there's the chicken and dumplings. Yeah, that looks good. Looks really good. 
smells really good. Let me tell you. Too bad we didn't bring some black pepper. I, didn't know. <laughs> I have pepper. No, I don't. Not on this one, I don't. <laughs> okay, so. Split them in half and give, put half of it in my cup. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do that. We'll pour the whole thing in there and then you'll know what half is. Oh. By the way, you do it your way. That's hot. Supposed to be. That's about a cup. Okay. What am I going to do with that hot water? Leave it in there. Well, what? Well, make my soup. That's mix all. it in your soup. It'll make. It'll work. Back up and I can throw it away. Put it in the fire. Oh. <laughs> what fire? Okay. Hey. A little bit more. There you go, dear. There's dinner. Okay, ready? Beans. There's dinner. Eat it. Take a bite and then I'll shut you off. I don't want okay, people ready? to watch you. Bon appetit. We're in the back of the truck. We're getting ready to go to bed. I'm all bundled up. He's Randy's all bundled up. So Randy, I ain't unbundled up, and you can't see me in the dark. Oh, okay. Well, let me get the light right. Okay. Well, we're ready for bed. I'm all bundled up. I'm all in the back of the truck, ready to hit the hay. So <laughs> we'll see you all in the morning. Bye. All right, well, we're going to clean up our stuff out of the truck here and see what happens, how the day goes.